Alright guys, Tease Monkey back, and we're going to talk about farming star fragments today, so let's get into it. First thing I want to do is, this is about probably the best place I've found to do this, is you want to go to this shrine here, the Shavenir Shrine, across from the Dueling Peaks there. So go ahead and warp yourself there, and what you want to do is you're going to start a fire, and you're going to camp two times in a row. So you're going to, the first time you're going to camp is in the morning and you're going to camp right away as soon as you get up from that till night so we'll go ahead and put our fire down here we'll camp till morning so that's going to wake us up at 5 a.m as soon as we come up out of that we're going to camp again until night which will then bring us up at 9 p.m then basically all we're going to do is sit here and wait. Now I found the best thing to do is to face yourself towards the Hatino Tower. That way the star fragment is going to fall in your camera view here. So what that allows you to do is to be able to warp over to the tower and be a lot closer to the fragment to reduce the time it takes you to go and pick them up and repeat the cycle. So as you can see I've got the gameplay sped up a little bit here. We're speeding through the night cycle. Usually between 10 and 2 is when you're going to see this star fragment happen. So let's pay attention to our time down here. We're approaching 11. And there we see our star fragment falling off in the distance. And then all we do here is simply pull out our scope, put a mark by it, and then we're just going to warp over to the Hatino Tower, as you can see here. And as soon as we get there, we just fly down, pick up our star fragment, and then we're going to rinse and repeat. So we've arrived at the tower. We should see our mark here on our little compass. We can see our mark. It is the blue one. There's the star fragment. So we'll just shoot on across over to it, pick it up, and once we pick it up, we're just going to warp back to that same shrine we were at before, climb back up on top of that rock and repeat the cycle. Now, this isn't going to guarantee you 100% of the time. There are times that I have done this and you may not get one. That's just the nature of the beast. Um, it's not 100%, but it is probably in the high. I say out of 10 times, you're going to get at least uh, 8 or 9 out of the 10, more than likely. Like I said, it usually happens between 10 and 2 in the game time. Um, if one does drop, you have until 5 a.m. to go pick it up. At 5 a.m., it will completely disappear and be gone. So as you can see, we're going up here again. We're just going to do the same thing. We're going to face ourselves towards the Hatino Tower once we come out of our two camps here. So we'll camp once till morning. We come out of that and we're immediately going to camp again until night. Which will then bring us to 9 p.m. Then you'll see, like I said, between 10 and 2 seems to be like the golden time. It can happen a little bit after 2 or between 9 and 10. But mostly I've seen it happen um, after 10 o'clock. So here we are. We're going to face ourselves towards that tower. The star fragment is always going to fall in your camera view. So if it falls, you're going to see it. Um, it's not like it's going to fall behind you if you're not looking that direction. So you don't have to worry about that. So you always just want to face in a good direction towards that tower. is perfect. Like I said, you can just warp over there, pick up your fragment um, a lot faster. Now, you can do this in different areas of the map. I have tried it in different areas of the map, and it, you know, it still works. But the things you have to be careful of is you don't want to be facing in a direction that has a lot of water that way, because if it lands in the water, it's gone. And you also don't want to do it um, towards like the edge of the map. What I mean by that is um, I did it down in the Gerudo Desert, and I was facing towards the south edge of the map and what had happened was I saw the star fragment fall but it was out of bounds 
so it didn't actually land on the ground because it was out of the mat's boundary. So be careful of the spots that you pick to do it. Like I said, this is probably the best one for the simple fact that you can quickly shoot over to the tower and fly down and pick up your star fragment quickly and then go right back to the spot again and rinse and repeat. Here we are again, the Hatino Tower. We've got it marked, our red mark there, so we're just going to say set direction, fly on over, pick it up, and you guessed it, go right back to the shrine, climb up on top there, do our double camp, camp till morning, camp till night, facing towards the Hatino Tower, and just watching for that fragment. So, you know, like I mentioned earlier, it's not 100%. You may have a time here and there where one doesn't fall. Just recycle it, sleep till morning, sleep till night again, and you should get one in the next cycle. I don't think I've ever had a time where I've done two cycles and one didn't fall. If one didn't fall, usually then the next time um, it gets back in and starts falling again. I don't know if that happens to do with the current phase of the moon or what, but yeah, don't be discouraged. If you try this the first time and one doesn't fall, just sleep. Just keep doing your morning, night campouts here, and you'll eventually, you'll get them, you'll start seeing them falling pretty much every time, and then here and there, you may not have one fall. So we'll just wrap this one up here. As you can see, I'm looking in a different direction this time, more towards the castle, just to show you that it will fall in the direction that you are facing. Um, this direction is just not as good because of the spots the fragment can land in. I did get lucky and it did land close to a tower, so it wasn't um, a long trek to go pick it up. But I say just stick to facing towards the Hatino Tower. Makes it a lot quicker and simpler to speed, speed through farming these up. If you don't know why I'm farming these, there are a lot of sets specifically the amiibo outfits that require a lot of star fragments to upgrade them you know i've upgraded every complete set of armor in the game and all of the ones that come from the amiibos that drop the armor take these except i think the fierce deity set took dragon parts i can't remember so don't quote me on that but several of them do take star fragments for each level of upgrade so if you're trying to do what i did and upgrade all those amiibo sets you're going to need a lot of these star fragments you can also use them in cooking um, i stick stick to using the feroche horns for the 30 minute time but i believe what the star fragment does in cooking is makes your cook a guaranteed critical um, success which for instance, if you make a meal that gives you temporary hearts, it may give you one extra temporary heart in that meal. So this is Tease Monkey, guys, giving you guys another tip video. I hope this one was helpful for you. Don't forget to tune in to my live streams where I help people live in the game. They ask what their questions or tell me what they need help with, and we do it right there live on the stream so they can see it live in action. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you out. Drop a comment in the comments below as I do try to get back to my um, viewers within that day of a posting if your message requires me or needs my assistance for me to answer your questions. Follow me on Twitter as I do post a lot of updates to my Twitter. You can see it down there in the bottom right corner, at Games. I will be doing Twitter exclusive giveaways, so if you want to be part of that, make sure you follow me over there as well. Once again, this is your boy, Tease Monkey, signing out. And as we like to say on the live streams, peace and chicken grease, and we'll see you in the next video.